big in. Nearly 70,000 people in here. Unbelievable atmosphere. Go on, Joshua. It's like a rock concert. That's incredible. Yeah, but this says something about sport and sporting venues in the United Kingdom. We used to have the most appalling... I mean, I remember Twickenham, and what a dump Twickenham used to be, and now it's amazing. And now we've got this mega stadium, and it's going to be used for NFL, it's going to be used for Premier League, it's going to be used for boxing, it'll be used for rock concerts. Unbelievable facility, billion quid they've spent on it. The problem is it's just, just in the wrong place. <laughs> it took us three hours to get out of there, you know? Um, but it was a big... I guess it was a surprise that Joshua lost those world titles. It shouldn't be as much of a surprise as I think it has been to, to casual boxing fans. You know, Alexander Usyk, a uh, unified, you know, former uh, undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, uh, stepped up, has done very well, uh, clearly, since stepping up to heavyweight. He was an Olympic champion the same year that Anthony Joshua became Olympic champion. Yeah. Uh, but had a great career, arguably a better career, uh, at cruiserweight uh, than Anthony Joshua had. So it was always going to be a difficult opponent. We saw that uh, Joshua, in his previous defeat against Andy Ruiz, uh, struggled against someone who's slightly smaller than him, who's not necessarily a bit shorter than him, just didn't seem to know how to fight his, how to come up against his opponent. You also could argue that he probably was looking beyond this fight uh, towards the fight he should have had this summer against Tyson Fury. Whether that fight ever now goes ahead has got to be in doubt.